Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn how to update data into the table rows. Now, if you have some sort of existing data into the table, you might be wondering if I want to change something in a particular cell or a row or a column, how can I basically go ahead and do it? And there is a keyword or the update keyword in SQL that will allow you to update any of the record into the table easily. So update statement, what it does is it is used to modify the records into the table rows. So if you have to update, say for example, by mistake while entering the data into the table, you did some mistake and you want to change certain values there, you can basically use the update statement to modify the existing record that are there in the table. Update statement can update data in a single or multiple column. So if you want to update only a single column, you can also do it. If you want to update multiple columns, basically all of the columns which will be part of the row, you can specify the conditions, etc. So absolutely strong um, statement to use when you want to update the details into the table. You can use the where clause to specify the condition which will match the cert certain specific search criteria to update only specific rows or specific columns based on the search criteria, right? So in an example, so basically update the statement will be very simple. So update the name of the table. Say for example, the table name is customer. So update customers and then what you want to set the value for a particular column. So then you have the keyword basically set and then specify in a particular column what new value you want to set. So what this first statement will do is update table name, say for example, update customers. And then in that I say set customer name, which is basically the name of the column one to a new value. So what this will do is because there is no where condition, there is no condition that I have used. It will update all the values in that column that I specify in the column one to the new value. Okay. So be very sure that when you are using update or delete, delete I'll cover in next tutorial. But when you're using update statement, make sure that you actually want to update all the values in the column if you are not using the where clause. Okay. So if you use this first statement, it will update all the values in a particular column. If you want to update all the values in multiple columns, just comma separated. So update the table name, set column value, column one to new value, column two to new value, right? But be careful and I'll explain you the consequences of these two if you are not using the where clause. Now the third one is when you use the where condition. So basically you can specify that I want to update only the customer names or only the street name of the customers where the city is Melbourne, right? Or where the city is New York. So in that case, you know that only the rows that match that New York or Melbourne, those rows will be updated. So where clause is pretty important with update or delete. Otherwise, it will be updating and deleting the whole column that you specify. Now let's go back to the workbench and I'll show you it all in action and why you need to be careful with update and delete when doing any of the updates without the where clause or even with the where clause, you need to be careful because you are actually overwriting or you are changing the data in the table, right? So let me go back to SQL workbench and here I am using this database, right? So I'll just say use RCV online shop. And now say, for example, let's quickly see the table, right? So I'll say select star. I know that in the left hand side, you can see that there are two tables, customer and order. So I'll say select star from customer. Okay. And this will display me the list of data that is there in these tables, right? Now, if I, I have done some of the updates before, but if say, for example, I want to update. Okay. So by default, let me go ahead and I want to update some values there. Okay. So I'll say select or basically update, right? So update statement. So update what update the table, right? So update which table update customer, right? So I'm updating this customer table, the name of the table, and then I want to set the values in a column. So if I say update customer, so that ensures that I'm going to update this particular table, the na name of the table is customer, and I want to set the column name. So in this case, if I say, for example, I want to set customer name to some new value, right? So if I say customer name is RCV 
online okay something like that okay now if i do this statement update customer and i set the customer name to rcv online what will happen in this case is the customer name all this whole customer name column will have the same value because i haven't used any condition to filter out the data based on any of the condition right i could use the condition i could use the where clause and this will be the consequence that if you use this update for a single column or even for a multiple column without the where clause all the values in the in that column will be updated so if i run this now okay you will see that okay there is an error okay so you are using the safe update mode and you will get this error okay so basically what you need to do is you need to go to the if you hover over this particular error you will see that it already suggests you what you need to do in the workbench so basically to disable this safe mode and safe mode is there to protect yourself from by mistake deleting and updating the data without your knowledge right so it gives you an error so you basically can disable safe mode so you have to go to the preferences and sql editor and reconnect right so go to the edit right go to preferences and and this is my sql workbench right so for other editors it might be different so go to sql editor and here you will see safe updates is checked right we have to uncheck it and then click ok and then again go to query and reconnect to server okay so once you reconnect to server now safe mode is disabled and this should work perfectly fine this query should work perfectly fine now for other workbenches it should be pretty similar but you can google around and it's not a big deal to find out how you have to disable and enable safe mode okay so if i run this now you will see that 12 rows have been affected right so 12 changes okay now if i select all the values there let's see now everywhere in the customer name you will see rcv online has been updated right so this is basically the drawback or basically if you do not want any specific condition everything or every value in that particular column that you specify will be change to the value that you want to specify or the, that you want to update now if i have to update multiple columns i'll simply say comma separated so set first column name and the value and then second column name say for example in the uh, zip code i want to update some value so i'll say column name and in zip code i just want to specify the value as 3000 okay so if i run this now you will see that 11 rows got affected and everything is now in zip code you will see that every value here is 3000 right so multiple column update is possible this way you can specify multiple columns comma separated and you can update the values right now why is where clause important because if you say for example do not want to update all of the values in that particular column then you need to specify the where clause okay so in that case if say for example i only want to update the customer name for the customers that belong to the city london okay so i can use the where clause i can say where city is equal to london right now with this what will happen is let me put this in another line here now it will basically figure out how many customers belong to the city london and then it will update only those cells that match this particular criteria so if i say rcv academy let's change it to academy right and the zip code to 367 something like that okay and if i run this now you will see that there have been three rows that have been affected the reason being that there were three rows that match this where city is equal to london criteria okay so if i run this now you will see that any city or let's say let me filter out with the city here so where city is equal to london okay so we want to check how many rows were there in the customer table where the city was london okay so you'll see three rows have been filtered and all those three rows have been set with the rcv academy and the zip code as the zip code that we have specified here all right so this is basically how you are going to use the where clause to only update rows that you need to update rather than updating the whole column if there are millions of rows into 
uh, table and you are actually working on your project database, it could be, you know, lots and lots of data. So in that case, if you by mistake do these sort of errors, it's a sort of a nightmare to get it back into the original shape, right? So there are backups, you can rely on that, but then yes, I mean, it, it's a lot of rework and uh, unnecessary hassle, right? So when you are using update and delete, you are, you, you need to make sure that you are actually using the where clause and the practical scenario where you will use the update is basically say for example you are testing some web application you want to see whether the data has been populated correctly into the table or not so in that case you there has been some data you want to delete that particular set of data and you want to again re-register a customer so in those sort of scenarios these update and delete statements will be helpful for you to basically reuse the same set of data for a customer so there will be practical usages of update and delete and that's why i'm basically covering all of these uh, practical usage examples in sql so that when you go to testing projects you are actually pro at using sql and understand all of it right so this is basically how you are going to use the update statement or update uh, the table with certain values if say for example now i want to update uh, the customer name with rcv academy 2 and a zip code with something else say for example uh, where the city is or let's say th this time I want to see the city is New York right so I'll say city is New York so I'll specify the criteria I can specify another column criteria as well I can say where country is equal to USA right so I can specify anything with this where clause okay and then if I run this you will see three rows have been affected and if I simply get all the details of the customer table you will see anything or any value that matched with the new york is now rcv academy 2 right so you will see it has been there and the zip code has been also updated for those rows okay so this is basically all about the update statement in sql very important very simple to understand go ahead practice understand the concept and practice because the more you practice with the complex queries the more comfortable you will become with learning sql and using sql in your project so that's all for this tutorial on update i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching